Hi everybody, my name's Dave. Um, today I'm going to show you how to open and change the BMS in a King's lithium battery. Now, this is the King's 120 amp hour lithium battery. It's a LifePo 4 battery. It's not like opening up a Tesla battery and it's going to catch fire. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to tell you the tools you're going to need. So you're going to need a heat gun, you're going to need cross-edge screwdriver, you're going to need a couple of 10mm spanners, plus a 13mm spanner, a pair of snips, a pair of pliers, crimping tool and wire stripping tool. You will also need double-sided tape, maybe a bit of captain's tape and some of this tape which you use to connect uh, all the wires down. So, how do you get into it? Well, on the top are some little, uh, the, there are eight holes, but they're covered over with these plastic covers. I use a spike and I stick a spike in, but you can get away with something. Once you've been in there once, you can get away with doing it with something like these these long nose pliers. So these little captions to protect the screws are probably to hide the screws, stop people prying and sticking their noses in and opening them up where they couldn't be, like me. So what I've done, because I've already had this open, is I've just put four of them in there. Right, so there's the four little plastic clips out. So then you need your cross-edge screwdriver, because that reveals four screws. Well, it reveals eight screws, but I've only put four of them back in. Thing. Like so. That will release the lid. Now, you need to catch these screws because they will fall out. So there's the four screws. You, don't forget you would have eight. You'd have eight of those and eight, eight little plastic caps. What you need to do next is you need to remove these two screws here. Now, uh, these are 13 mil. Then you take your cap off and there's your battery in there. Now you've got to remove the battery from the case. So what you've got to do is hold the case and just lift up the battery. I'm going to put it down here and hold it with my feet and I'm just going to lift up the battery. So this is your lithium battery. It contains a live and a neutral sense terminal. This is your BMS. So those are four prismatic cells. How the BMS works is it has a black lead here that goes to this. Now the one I'm going to replace it with doesn't go to that, it goes to the negative. Then you've got four other cables that all go to, one goes to positive here, the other two fit onto the bus bars in there and one fits in there. You have this plastic insulator. I I'm going to replace this with a daily system. However, I don't have it yet, so I can't show you it. So the daily has a cable, blue cable at one end and black out the other side. The blue cable goes straight to here. The black cable goes up to earth and you'll need extending. So what I did on my last BMS and my last one here is I cut some of this cable off to extend that up to the earth. So importantly, this power lead is, is the one that needs to be quite a good lead. So as soon as I get the BMS, we'll have a part two. What we need to do is we need to make a bit of modification here because if you put the daily BMS on here, makes it too wide to fit back in the box. So we're going to modify this and the sponge underneath to get it to all fit together. But we can do that, it's not a problem. So there's the King's battery box. There's the King's battery. As you can see, it's four prismatic cells. They're not pouch cells, the prismatic cells. They're a good battery. So, what is the problem with my battery if they're a good battery? Well, I can tell you now that was the problem. I have two of these batteries and this is the BMS 
from inside that battery. You can see it here. There, that's the BMS. Now, I've replaced the other battery's BMS with a daily BMS and I'm going to replace this one with the same thing because I think the BMS is the problem. When you get your, your daily BMS or your replacement BMS, you'll have certain wires. So I've got a couple of BMSs here which are just cheap ones, but you'll see they come with certain wires. So there's another BMS and it has that Hang on a sec. Okay, so you've got the black wire here, this is your earth wire, and then you'll have four sense wires. Those sense wires need to go to these positive points underneath here and here. That's this this BMS will manage four cells. So the the, the daily one I bought is will man also manage four cells. And this one will manage four cells, so at two of them. Now, so what they do, <coughs> let me show you this, because this one's disconnected. The whole point of a battery management system is it will manage the voltage and the charging of the battery. This is the earth, and then you've got one, two, three, and then four cells what these do these manage the voltage on the cells and keep each cell very very close voltage to the one next to it so the four cells should be it should tell you somewhere 3.7 volts i think they'll be well if you can read chinese it's on there p minus b minus plus and minus Right, so that, that positive, that's negative. So, <coughs> this goes to your negative terminal, this goes to your positive terminal, that's from the batteries. So the negative goes through the BMS. This is all to do with balancing the loads and monitoring the temperature and monitoring the shorting out the battery and things like that. So they'll cut it out, okay? Now, as long as your cells are balanced, then this is going to work. You set up the daily, the daily BMS as per the instructions I looked up on YouTube because no instructions came with it. But it's basically a BMS that is a replacement BMS. For making your own batteries so I've replaced the BMS in my battery now I don't know if that one was faulty or this one is faulty but one of the two is faulty now if you put the barely BMS directly onto the battery here it's too wide to fit back in the box so I had to take this off take off the, the spongy rubber underneath it re-stick that down put this on top with some sticky tape and then it was white it would fit in so what you need what you need to do, what we'll do is we'll go through this as I get the BMS and then I'll, I'll do a part two when we connect it all up etc. But that's what you've got inside your battery. So there, that there is a prismatic cell. There are four of those in this battery. One, two, three and four. 3.7 volts per, per cell. Which gives you, if you multiply 3.7 by four, you get 12... Uh, uh, 14.8 volts okay I have on my other one that I've just rebuilt um, we'll have to go out here and get the signal back again but we can do that So, there's my battery in back of there, that's the auxiliary battery, it's now at 13.5 volts and you can see it's a level charge, okay? 
and you can see on the chart here it's actually going up some more now it's going to go up 13.11 so it should get to 14.8 if I leave it on 100% if I leave it on 24 hours we'll see what happens with that later but in the meantime I've shown you what the battery looks like I've shown you how to take it apart so in the part two what we'll do is we'll connect the BMS we'll get it up and running I'll show you how to do all that put it back together and get it out there and get it working thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video